Trichomonas vaginalis is an anaerobic flagellated protozoa parasite which causes trichomoniasis. What is trichomoniasis? It is a common sexually transmitted disease caused by protozoa called Trichomonas vaginalis. The incubation period of Trichomonas vaginalis is 5 to 28 days. Up to 50% of infected women may be asymptomatic. It can be acquired perinatally and occurs in 5% of the babies born to infected mothers. This infection requires treatment of an asymptomatic partner as well. Transmission is via sexual intercourse, mutual masturbation, mother to child during vaginal delivery. Clinical features of patients with trichomonas vaginalis include offensive vaginal discharge, dysuria, and vulval itching. What are the diagnostic tests for trichomonas vaginalis? The most sensitive test for detection of trichomonas vaginalis is NAT test. Trichomoniasis testing helps detect a common STD caused by a parasite. What is the treatment of trichomonas vaginalis? What is the usual regimen? The recommended regimens for treating trichomonal infection include metronidazole 2 gram orally in a single dose. What is the recommended regimen of trichomonas vaginalis in pregnancy? Avoid high dose in pregnancy and breastfeeding or use metronidazole 400 to 500 mg twice daily for 5 to 7 days. The alternative regimen include tinidazole 2 gram orally as a single dose. Trichomonas shows the following important characteristics. First, an anterior tufts of flagella, undulating membrane and exostyle. Only trophozoite stage can survive outside the body at a temperature of as low as 15 degrees centigrade for up to 48 hours. Now this table shows the comparison between bacterial vaginosis and trichomonas vaginalis. There is fish-like order in bacterial vaginosis and musty order in trichomoniasis. In bacterial vaginosis, there is thin, off-white homogeneous discharge, whereas in trichomoniasis, there is pale green watery discharge. Bacterial vaginosis usually doesn't cause dysuria. Trichomoniasis can cause tenderness and dysuria. Moreover, there is dyspareunia, pruritus or inflammation in bacterial vaginosis. Among these, dyspareunia and pruritus is also seen in trichomoniasis. Mild vulval irritation is possible in bacterial vaginosis. In trichomoniasis, there is vulval erythema and cervical petechiae. In bacterial vaginosis, the wet mount reveal bacterial coated epithelial cells, whereas in trichomoniasis, the wet mount reveal motile, pear shaped, flagellated protozoa. There is no need to treat partner in bacterial vaginosis, but in trichomoniasis, we need to treat the partner as well as it is a STD. The color of vaginal discharge in case of the candidiasis is thick, curdy, white discharge. In trichomoniasis, we have frothy, green, yellow discharge. There is thin, white, gray discharge in case of bacterial vaginosis. The pH of candidiasis is less than 4.5. It is more than 5 in case of trichomoniasis and more than 4.5 in case of bacterial vaginosis. A mine order with potassium hydroxide is negative in candidiasis. It is positive in trichomoniasis and bacterial vaginosis. When we do wet mount, we find white blood cells, spores and pseudohyphae in candidiasis. Wet mounts in trichomoniasis detect white blood cells and motile trichomonads. Wet mount in case of the bacterial vaginosis detect few white blood cells and the clue cells. Here we can see the pseudohyphae in case of the candidiasis. There are flagella undulating membranes in case of the trichomoniasis. There are clue cells and epithelial cells in case of the bacterial vaginosis. Now something about STI screening testing. Which organisms should be checked for STI? Sexually transmitted infection or STI screening tests are done those for chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis and HIV. When should STI testing be done? Immediate testing will only identify the current infection. An STI screen two weeks after exposure allows detection of infection acquired at the time of potential risk exposure. Individuals at a specific risk of HIV infections should have a repeat test at 4 weeks and 12 months from the exposure. 
So thank you so much. That was all about trichomonas vaginalis. Subscribe on Obsend Gaini. Allah Hafiz.